Are you paying a lot for health care and health insurance in particular? I think that uh, health care, uh, health care costs, even for young people, can be a significant out-of-pocket expense. And this is one of the ways I've found to potentially mitigate those costs, which is to sign up for a health sharing program rather than conventional health insurance. And especially if you're someone who's a business owner who is paying for health insurance out of pocket, especially if you have a family, this can be a great alternative. So here at Hazeltine, one of the things that we do with all of our clients is we try to help them save money and optimize their cash flow any way that we can. So we find ways to get more income coming in and less costs going out without compromising your lifestyle, without changing anything you're doing, just by optimizing what you're already doing. And one of those things can be replacing your health insurance plan with a health sharing plan. And I've saved clients significant amounts of money. Uh, so this is one plan that I personally participate in. It's called Crowd Health. And uh, this is my referral code up here. I include it in the description below. So if you do take a look, I would really appreciate you using my referral code. Uh, you get a discount if you use my referral code and I get a small referral bonus. So if you got value out of this, uh, share it with others, and I'd really appreciate you using my code. But here it is, um, and you can see here um, what the pricing looks like. So as an example, if it's just one person, right, and you're not 55 years old or older, it's $185 a month. Now keep in mind, this subscription fee right here this you have to pay. This is $50 a month, okay? The contributions may or may not be this amount, right? So it'd be up to $135 a month. So $185 a month is the maximum uh, you would be paying, all right? And then basically, they don't use the word deductible because it's not health insurance, but basically you have kind of a $500 deductible it's a little more nuanced than that, but basically any health event you have, you're responsible for the first $500 out of pocket. Everything out of that, you submit to the crowd for funding. Um, when people look at this, the first thing they're thinking about is cost savings, and that's the reason why most people sign up. And of course, those cost savings can be significant, absolutely. But really, one of the things that I think people should be more aware of is how using a health sharing plan improves the quality of care that you get and improves your relationship with the doctors that you're working with. Why? Because there's no insurance company telling the doctor what to do, right? If you go through insurance, even if in theory it were more cost effective, now the insurance company is in charge. They're going to dictate what is covered what is not covered, what treatments are acceptable, what are not acceptable. And they're telling the doctor what he can and cannot do. Okay. Whereas when you go through health sharing, now you can choose whatever provider you want and he can, he and you can work through whatever treatment plan you want without an insurance company dictating the terms. So that's really important for people to understand because quite frankly, even if health sharing were more expensive than conventional health insurance, which it's not, um, I think you find that the quality of care should get improved. Uh, also because crowd health will help, of course, negotiate a cash price and the doctors that are more willing to work with a company like crowd health tend to be better doctors in general, doctors who want to work with patients who don't want to deal with an insurance company. Okay, so let's say you had, uh, let's say five people, right? You can see what that would be. Um, let's say two of them were 55 years or older, right? And you can just see how the pricing goes. So it's very easy to see what it would cost. You can take a look at, at this here. Um, maybe if you had, you know, yeah, family of four, right? Right, again, you can see how these costs would scale um, depending on the size of your family and the age and so on. And there's, of course, a little more nuance to this, so you want to dig into it a little more before you sign up or switch. But this is one of the many ways we help our clients save money, and it's an option that I think everybody else, everybody should be aware of. So uh, please take a look at this. If you're interested, use my referral code. Um, if it was helpful, uh, please let me know. Thanks, everyone, for watching.